Flip your fingers, okay. Anybody else? Phoenix Suns, yeah. Anybody? What about you? You're not from New York? Yeah, yeah. Okay. It's okay. You can learn a little bit today. Anybody else know anything about it? Well, I was blessed. My uncle Al Jasper played with him. Okay, your uncle played with him? Wow. My granddad played with him. Your granddad played with him? All right. Here we go. Uh, Mr. Steve? I played in his uh, tournament or his uh, league in Pittsburgh. Right. He had, he had a league in Pittsburgh before you guys was born. Like when we played, for about 30 years, they had a men's league uh, in honor of his name. He, uh, he brought Pittsburgh their first basketball championship and the only basketball championship when they were in the ABA. And um, to make a long story short, they thought that he did some negative things that he didn't, so he couldn't go to college and he had to go pro at 19 years old. And at 19 years old, he led Pittsburgh to the championship and got the MVP and the ABA. He was a bad boy. And then, uh, you know, a lot of people in my generation, when we were growing up, Dr. J was one of the better players. Uh, Dr. J looked up to Connie Austin. So he kind of inspired him for what he did. And then Any Michael Jordan looked up to Dr. J. And y'all know what happened after that. Go ahead. Yeah, he played for the Lakers, too. Um, he played for several NBA teams. And then he made it to the Hall of Fame. So he's in the NBA Hall of Fame. And um, he played for the Hall of Globetrotters. He did a lot of different things. Uh, at a young age that people didn't do back then because they had this little scandal they thought he was part of, which uh, later on they found he wasn't, so he wasn't able to play in college. So that's a little bit about Connie Hopkins, and that's why the group from Pittsburgh was coming up here. His grandson was supposed to be part of this trip. He fell ill, so he couldn't make it, and we just want to represent Pittsburgh for this Yeah, it was 6'8". You should have been saying all that before. Yeah. Can I just piggyback on that? Yeah. So what we're doing on the New York side, hi, my name is James. You can see me around. We have sports because I have to get to this. If you want to know, because I don't people ask. So on the New York side, uh, we took up the task. We met Sean Morgan right after the funeral in 2018, 2019. Yes. <laughs> 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 so we met, we, we met Sean and we mixed my talents with his talents and one of the things we wanted to, bring, to do was bring some historical context of our NBA players back to Brooklyn. There's none of, there's no, there's no park things that's our great start. Uh, there's no basketball courts. There's none of anything to, to know that Connie Hawkins once lived on Lexington and Nostrand, which I can actually take you past his house if you want me to. Relax. 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 <laughs> So we want some historical context. So I think was to name one of the players, at least the basketball course after Connie Morgan. But as me being also a social activist, I did run Beverly Sharp chapter, and I am part of a president right now, co-president of a wider chapter to see social justice for people of color. And with that mix, we wanted to do some other things. So what we did is that we wanted to, me and Sean got together, Sean Hawkins, and I met, I know his mom, and I know his daughter, one of the things they wanted to do is that uh, emphasize, we want to get a measure of justice as all the injustices he just named, all the injustices that were done. But not only for Connie, for Clayton and Roger Brown and other players. But right now we work with, that's why it's important for us to sit together. We're working with the DA's office, not the DA. The DA that um, kind of, I could say, used the street work, did them wrong. You know, these guys have passed away. So we're trying to get some measure of justice. We met them, with them a couple of times, we're still meeting with them, which is other things. Uh, the University of Iowa, we're trying to get a measure of justice for him. And we have a whole like, legal team, and most of the legal team is from Pittsburgh. I don't know if you're aware. Most of the legal team is from Pittsburgh. And. Who's son is that? That guy. <laughs> 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 I don't know. That's little, that's little so, 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 right now, so, right now, we have plenty of meetings with, with the DA's office. 
uh, and then we uh, again uh, measured Jeffrey from the University of Iowa too. We were gonna make scholarships to the form of school here, but also to work with him and, and his kids also. So Sean has been at the University of Iowa with some of our attorneys uh, the last uh, four or five months. And we, that's, one, that's the second thing we're trying to do. Third time you two, we build a better relationship with the NBA. Uh, I started kind of work for the NBA. I worked for the NBA. Really? Staff. So we're trying to do that too. And then the fourth thing which I'm excited about, actually I had the, that thing called the Zizzler tape. I didn't even know what that meant. Promotional tape, I don't know if you know, he said he has one movie he's coming out that's been green light already. Okay, and it's an amazing movie. Wait till you see this guy. You gotta see it. It's by George Call. We met with George Call and his entire staff. Um, so those are the four things that we're doing to try to continue the legacy of Connie or Hawkins and other people, as he mentioned. I just want to piggyback and look at some strong things we are doing, some solid things, and some things that have been in the process for two years. It's not an easy thing to do, you know. So that's why we're trying to keep his name alive. That's why, that's why it's important to meet all your guys too. I knew they got the strength in us in our team. And like I said, we have about six lawyers. Most people in Pittsburgh, a couple from New York. And we got dad working with us in Pittsburgh as well. That's all I want to say.